Hey Dimitri, it's Nikolai. Um, so let me make this video for you. So here we have the, sorry, here we have this picture right here. Okay, and I'm gonna, the only thing you need, I'm gonna get rid of this, what you have to do right now, just save it to files. So save, okay, that's a, a superfluous step which we'll eventually get rid of in iOS. Okay, so let's download the Teleplay app. Okay, click on open, click on allow, pick pulse. Okay, you can just say not for now. Okay, so let's, uh, let me make some really cool scenes for you. Okay, and let me show you all the cool features that pick pulse, which is inside Teleplay has. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure that the pick pulse button is on. And then the email field, just make sure to enter the email address you use to purchase pick pulse. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, so there are two ways to use PicPulse. Number one is to add foreground effects on top of an existing photo or video. And number two is to remove a background from a photo, add it to one of the backgrounds here, and then add foreground elements if you want. Okay, so I know you mentioned that the phone gets hot. That's, you know, if you compare it to Photo Room, which is only a photo processing app, Essentially, what you're doing on the phone is you're essentially running a high-end game because the graphics that you're using here are what you have in a game. So for, for now, let me show you, um, let me add foreground effects to an existing picture. In this case, one right here. Okay. So for this one, I'm thinking, so I'm going to go over all the foreground effects, which I think can work well for you here. So... Let's go to Butterflies HD. What if we do Magical Blue Butterfly? Maybe resize it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think it lands right on the, on the bottle. Okay. And if your phone is, if you notice your phone is really heating up, just don't have so many foreground effects. I think that can solve the problem. To remove an effect, just hold on the effect on the screen, hold, and then click, sorry, hold, and then click on the trash can icon right there. That removes the effect. And notice how if I click on it again, I don't have to wait for it to download. Okay, so let's remove this effect right here. So I definitely check out the Butterflies HD foreground category. So anything to do with like nature, anything like water, liquidy, um, so I think there's a ton of effects like that for your product. What if we do, I don't know, gray bird flying close up. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird, but you get the idea. So I check out the bird section. You may like the light streaks category. Um, what if we do this one? Maybe there's like a little bit too much going on there, but I really like this category in general because you'll you'll bind you're bound to find something you like. What about sun upper bright? Oh, and what if we like kind of? Yeah, not a big fan of this one. What if we do lens flare? Okay, and then what if we put this lens flare to match the lens flare in the picture? Yeah, I'm not a not a, not a big fan of it. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> so, I know there's more effects which you can find in there which I know will work well. Powder can may work well for you for any, like especially for makeup type products.
And right now I'm touching my phone, it's not hot at all. I think if you just use one effect instead of many effects at the same time, that can help solve the the issue with the overheating of the device. Um, what if we do airy curtain? And notice how these two effects are the same. One of them has a higher megabyte file size. That's mainly like, you know, if you don't want to wait long at all, depending on your internet connection speed. So you, you, then you can choose the lower megabyte version. Okay, I'll cool this up. So let's say you like this scene, just hold the record button. And then notice the timer, that's how long the video is going to be. Okay, and then it's going to save to... Oh. Okay. Okay. So it should be right where the rest of your photos and videos are. So we went from this scene to this. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Let's move onward. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say we add we want to add a butterfly on on the bottle behind the curtain. Let's click on the butterfly. So now we want the butterfly behind the curtain. So we're going to click on the layer palette, move this below the curtain. And let's say we want to adjust the size of the butterfly without adjusting the curtain. We just click on the butterfly and then like that. Let's wait for it to make sure it's the right size. We move it. Okay, let's say we like it. So we just tap on it again. And there we go. So now we can make a video with a butterfly and the curtain as well. <clears throat> okay, let's remove these effects for now. I just wanted to show you how to use more than one effect at the same time using the new palette feature. So let's say there's the mystical... So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to keep on showing you where all the cool foreground effects are, but I'm, f I'm gonna remove the foreground first. So let's go to your foreground. This tool right here is the background removal tool. So let's click on that. Okay, so now here is that same bottle, but let's place it. Let me show you now where to place this bottle. So that my the background categories I would recommend for you are nature right here. Then I would recommend uh, AI surfaces and AI generated backgrounds. So for an AI surfaces, let me show you some examples. We got the clouds table like this you can do, for example, or you can maybe like this one. Okay, it's not bad at all. What if we try rainbow table? Okay, so you get the idea. So AI surfaces is a good one. Each background category has videos, which are here, and photos under photo preview. Um, the AI generated backgrounds in within the photo preview has a ton of cool backgrounds you can use. So let's, uh, my favorite category, which I think you'll like, is if you go to the nature and scroll down where it says video preview. And let's go find a cool nature scene. So what if we do countryside sunrise? Actually, let's do something if we do aerial wetland. Okay, so now I'm going to continue to show you where all the cool foreground effects are while doing it on top of this new scene. Okay, so what if we try the mystical category? Um, let's do butterfly explosion.
And I know you mentioned photo room, but <clears throat> I know for a fact you can't, where teleplay, I mean, sorry, pick pulse really shines are the animated, the quality of the animated effects, which I don't believe anyone else has. Oh, look how cool this is. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, definitely check out the mystical category. Um, the love category, let's say you're getting, um, sorry, let's say you're getting this hair tonic as a gift. Why not do a love category? What if we do rose petals falling toward camera? Maybe resize it. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, how about the, okay, the luxury category I think can work really well for you. So, what if we do gold dust high res, gold dust high res three is a good one I think for the, for this one. Okay, why not? Okay, yeah, definitely check out the luxury category. Um, you may like this category, the e neon e-commerce animated text. Keep in mind, everything you're doing, you can combine with other effects. Maybe the food and drinks, if there's some kind of like, like a fruit type of cream, for example, or something to do with fruits. The all natural solution. Okay. Nature transitions, one of my favorite categories. If you scroll all the way down, this is one of my favorite effects in the entire app flowers full sequence. Okay. So you get the idea. Sparkle and particle effects, a ton of effects which can work for pretty much anyone. What if we do... Something really simple like... Eh, maybe something with like a more gold tinge to it. Like this, um, this yellowish one. Oh, okay, maybe this. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long, but other foreground categories which I think you'll like are plants and flowers, animals, water and liquids, definitely. Here's a really cool water and liquids effect. Water Horse HD. And of course, you can flip your phone or any device you're using and make it um, be horizontal mode. And by the way, the desktop version of PicPulse should be coming February 15th. Um, so yeah, that's something to look forward to because I know people have been clamoring for that and we've been working hard to make that happen. So yeah, yeah. Um, other categories which I think you'll like are pretty much anything. Like for example, you wouldn't think anything here can work well with what you have, but let's say for example, we do, I don't know, something like this. Okay. And we can make the background scene kind of fit everything else. Let me try to find something better. Oh, what about this one? Oh, okay, it kind of fits the golden theme. Oh, see, look how cool that looks. Like, you know, you may not like it, but like pretty much any effect can work well if you kind of play around with it. Now let's find a, like a background which maybe can work better for this particular scene. So what if we do AI, AI surfaces? We go back to this one. Eh. I wanted it to be something more like golden. What about rainbow table? 
I don't think that can work well if we resize the elements. Like, go here. Like that. Okay, not the best scene, but you get my idea. Like, you can make anything work, really. So, <clears throat> Dimitri, please let me know if this video helps, and I'm here if there are any questions.